Vayikra. Vayikra el Moshe. And he called to Moshe. It's interesting, I mean, usually the way the Torah writes, Shavayikra Hashem el Moshe, Vayedaber Elov, Leol Moed. Vayikra el Moshe doesn't mention anything about a Kodesh Baruch calling to Moshe. I mean, we understand. Vayikra el says, Vayedaber Hashem Elov, Leol Moed, Leimor. I mean, seemingly the Torah should have said, Vayikra Hashem el Moshe, and Vayedaber Elov, Leol Moed, Leimor. And he spoke to him from Ol Moed, but in terms of the calling, doesn't mention Hashem. Let's see, Rashi. Never thought of the question before. I don't think any of the um, Farshim, they speak about it, but I think maybe from Rashi, what Rashi explains it, which is the Chazal, it would be answered. V'yikrel Moshe, v'yidab Hashem, elov mi'ol moed leim, v'yikrel Moshe, l'chol dibros, l'chol amiros, l'chol tzivuyim. Where the Torah uses the term Diber, Dibor, or Amiro, Bayomer, or any command, Kodma Kriyo, Kodma Kriyo. It was predicated, Hashem called him. Hashem called, then he said. Hashem called, then he spoke. Hashem called, then he commanded. But Vayikro is an expression of Chibo. Loshin Shemalach Hashem is Mishtam Shemo. It's an expression which the angels use Shinema Vakora Zel Zer Avalin Vio Mus Olam Nigla Ali and Beloshan Aroi Vituma Shinema Vayikor Elohim El Dilom from the word Keri. Keri means it, it addresses it alludes to Tuma. Vayikra is something more significant. He called him. Before you speak to a person, you get his attention. How do you get his attention? And uh, because you want him, you, you because you value him, so therefore you address him in a way that he should fully appreciate what you're saying to him. <coughs> so. How would this one we answer? What is it? Vayikra Hashem El Moshe. Say Vayikra Hashem. So maybe it's this. We're saying Vayikra is an expression of Chibo. It's inappropriate when Hashem expresses His love. If we would say Vayikra Hashem, it's like we're equating, giving a certain um, equivalent value of Hashem to Moshe. Vayikra Hashem El Moshe. It's a Loshen Chibo. So therefore, it leaves the Hashem out and leaves it only for Yedabir. And we understand it, rather than saying explicitly, the Torah, only in an illusionary manner, we understand it's a Loshen Chibo. I'll give you an example. There's a midrash. The midrash says Sinai was public. It was a public event. The Mishkan was in concealment. Mishchina, mostly midrash. Mishchanti himself. So the midrash says, what is it analogous to? There was a king who had a little young daughter, and when he would walk with her, wherever he would go, he would demonstrate his love for his daughter. But after she matured and she became an adult, he says to her, until now that you were young, wherever we went, I showed my affection for you. But now that you understand what my affection is, it's not appropriate that I display my affection in public. Therefore, make for me this concealed location. There, I will meet you privately. Because it's not appropriate for Hashem to show, to display his affection in a public setting. Sinai, we just became Dama Hashem. 
So how do we, do we understand, have an appreciation of what our relation with him is? So regardless of the world seeing it, that doesn't make a difference. Because it was important for us to understand it. But once he showed it, and you understand what it is, now it's in concealment. It's not for a public view any longer. That's the Midrash. It's not exactly the same here. But Yikra Hashem al Moshe would mean Hashem is showing his chiba to Moshe. It's not appropriate. So therefore, it's only by Yikra al Moshe, we know what Hashem is calling to Moshe. So therefore, it's Hashem is not mentioned. By Yidaber Hashem, so we understand who's calling because it says by Yidaber Hashem. That's the reason why Hashem is not mentioned in by Yikra. That's what I was thinking. Unless you have something else to say. Rafael, what do you say? Okay, as long as you appreciate the question. The main thing is the question. You, have a, you understand the question, we could talk about maybe arriving at an answer. Okay? Howard, what do you say? That's a good answer. Shtika Godo says silence is admission. Okay, good. Since you see the Aleph, the Aleph is small in Vayikro. It's called Aleph Zero. So the Balaturim, Balaturim says, Aleph the Vayikra zero. The Aleph Vayikra is small. Why? She Moshe Yagodol Vonov Lo Rotz Lichtov El Vayikor. Moshe wanted that the Torah should only have Vayikor, similar to Bilam. It's only Mikra means it's only happenstance. It's not an ongoing basis. Lo She Mikra Ki Lo Diver Kodesh Moribo Elo Bechalom Kederach Shenema Bilam. Calling is an indication. It's more. No, 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 no. It says. It's not b'chalom. It's more ab. Chalomi comes in a dream. Kederach shenem bilam. Kilo lo nira lo Hashem elo b'mikra. Once in a while he comes to you in a dream. V'omla kodesh boch lichtov gam alif. And Hashem says no. But factually we have to write the alif to indicate who you are. You're much more than bilam. Shuvama lo Moshe machmas rova novish lo yichtven elo ketano. Yosem sher alfin. So Hashem says, but at least let's have a compromise. Let the alif be smaller. Said it shouldn't be that obvious. It shouldn't be that obvious. Shabbatora of Kosa Katana. So he, you know, Moshe is, is, has the cake and eats it, as we say. Why? There's a story um, Rabbi Yosin of Rav Salant. He was uh, the father of Rav Shmuel Salant. Rav Yosin of Salant was the Rebbe of the uh, of Rabbi Yosin of Salant. See, when he lived in Yerushalayim in the 1850s, 1860s, and he had his Mokum Kavua in the base Medrash. And there was a man visiting, a wealthy man visiting from Europe. And he came, he sat in his seat. And you can imagine, he was a little salon, his level of humility and his gentleness and his softness. So he goes over to the man, this wealthy man, in a very respectful, non imposing manner. He says, Excuse me, you know, this is my. Stender is my book where I sit. You know, I'll show you get somewhere else. There's nobody sitting here. This man blows up at him. And thought it's embarrassing in public. Who do you think you are to tell me where to sit, how to sit, where to sit? And the people, when they saw this, they like were taken aback. This man's screaming at him. So, so he's the Tzadik of Yushalayim. He's one of the Lamed Vav Tzadikim. I mean, that's how holy he was. And this man is like berating him like he's. Like he said nothing. Okay? Of course, he didn't say a word. He went, meekly went to another location, sat somewhere else. After davening, he goes and he bangs on the bim. He says, I want to publicly ask Mechila from this individual. Why? Because factually, he caused him embarrassment. The man embarrassed himself because when everybody saw him screaming at him, the way he screamed at him, I mean, he was so, he wasn't embarrassed. He was embarrassed because the people, they were appalled. Take it aback. How does this man behave? Did, 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 does he realize who he's screaming at? So he asked Mechila that for embarrassing him, that he caused the man embarrassment. So two things happened. Here the man is an honor, really humble. But factually, 
when he said to, to uh, he asked forgiveness, in fact, he's really saying who he is, <laughs> right? Why is it? Because he embarrassed the man. But what embarrassed him? Because I'm so special. And he didn't understand who he is embarrassing. Moshe Rabbeinu, he's on of. Written in Aleph is one thing. So now Hashem says, but I, we have to, I can't not write Aleph. So there's me and Aleph. To differentiate you, Hashem says, but make it small. So, he's, so what, what is the Torah saying? You're really exceptional. Not only exceptional, you're an onov. Because you forced me to write it small. Okay. Vayikor, Vayikor. Vayikro. Just an olive. No, but mm-hmm. Vayikor would have been something else. But that would indicate that he's he's the Kuv, no, it's Mikre. That his relationship is only uh, like coincidental or it, superficial. Hashem says no, but it's not a superficial relationship. It's a, it's, it's a secure relationship. It's an intimate relationship. Aleph Vayikro means I call to you. Yikor is Mikre. Give me an example. Rabbi was concerned. So now he comes to live more often. He, now he's like he's uh, permanent. He's one at a regular group. He comes more often. It's no mikra. It's not a mikra that he's here. He just doesn't fall in. In the he, in Hebrew, the word mikra means coincidental or happenstance, and that's the t- the term used by Bilam when Hashem appeared to him. By, by Moshe's by Yikro. Moshe, meaning he called me, it indicated something which is something which is uh, sub- substantive, something which is real. It's a real relationship. Right. So Moshe says, because of his humility, he says, but it says, he says, I prefer not to write the Aleph. Because then people see, I have that special relation with you. So, ch- it, so for, because he was so humble, he says, I prefer not to write the Aleph. Shem says, I'll go halfway with you. We'll write it. We'll write it small that it's hardly noticeable. That's the compromise. Normally, it's, 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 it's large. But at this one location, it think this reveals everything. That was his position. Okay. <coughs>